Hello, my name is Leopold Armesto and in this video we will continue by learning how to program with Fazlino and in particular we're going to learn how to use the USB serial port in order to print and receive data from the point of view of the uh, electronics, the Arduino code. So the outline of the presentation is uh, first I will talk about uh, the boards that we can use for this kind of exercises and then I will show four particular exercises how to use the serial port. Uh, you know that the, the Fazilino supports many, many boards and all of them they have a USB connector. This USB connector, if you connect it to the, your computer, you will see it as a serial device. And so that means that all these boards can be used uh, in order to uh, run these kind of exercises. In particular, the, the, exercise, the, the demos I will uh, show, they will uh, use the Arduino Uno, but any of them can be used as well. So, uh, when you connect your electronics to the PC, you, in, uh, in Windows you should see this uh, electronic as a COM port, it's a serial device and that is usually uh, displayed on the device manager. In, Win in Linux, sorry, uh, you see them as a TTY USB or TTY ACM uh, device in your, in, your, um, in your system. So, we use the serial port for two purposes indeed. One of them is to upload code, so once we have a, a program we want to upload the code and this code is uh, uh, it's stored in, in the electronics and for that we use the USB port and for that we can use Fazilino but in order to display data Fazilino has no uh, serial monitor, at least not yet and for that we can use any other serial monitor uh, outside Fazilino like in this case using the Arduino IDE console or any other serial monitor so we can use it in order to print and send data through the serial port. So in this first example, uh, the idea is to print the sentence hello world at the uh, beginning of uh, when, the, when the code starts and for that we have used the serial print line instruction as you can see here and a text instruction in which we have just simply typed the, the, the sentence we want to display and the generated code uh, can be, um, there are two main lines here first one is the, the begin um, uh, instruction that is always put once if we use uh, any USB serial port instruction in the setup, it's put always in the setup and then the other instruction, the print line instruction here will be put in the setup or in the loop depending uh, on your needs with the proper sentence depending on your input you put here. Let me show uh, the example using in this case a Tinkercad uh, simulator which is quite handy in order to, to show how it works uh, and for that you can see that uh, we have a tab code in which we have uploaded the, the, the code that Fatalino has generated and we have also a serial monitor here in which we can display all the data that is received um, from the, in this case from the computer point of view and any data we want to send to the microcontroller we can type here something and, uh, and then press send. Let me just simply uh, click the start button so we uh, uh, start the simulation and as you can see we have displayed the hello world sentence as expected. Okay so let me return back to the presentation. Now in this second example the idea is to implement a serial loopback so any character that we receive from the point of view of the electronics will be returned back uh, as uh, a print line, a new line to be displayed on the serial console so anything we type and we send from our PC will be then displayed on the, on the, um, the serial console. For that we use the serial available instruction so any time we receive something this instruction will execute the instructions that we put here inside so and in particular once we are sure that we have something in the buffer, uh, in the read buffer or the input buffer, then we read the string, whatever it is, and then we print it back as a, as a new line. So this example shows how, uh, how this uh, code works. So it's exactly the same code as we saw before and if we press start simulation and we print here a hello and we send it to the electronics, the electronics will respond by printing the same sentence here in the monitor and we, if we type hello again 
we have a new line here as well. Okay, so let me return to the presentation. And now here in this third example, the idea is to parse an integer. Um, so we receive a, a text and by parsing the integer we, means that we interpret this text as an integer so we can do some kind of arithmetic operations on it and in particular we are just simply incrementing one unit the value what, that we, we parse and return it back and print it back um, to the serial monitor. So this is the generated code as you can see and the example in the example uh, you will see that this is both is coincident what we have uh, shown and if we start the simulation and we send the number here let's say 5 I expect to receive 6 and if we put the number 10 then I expect to receive the number 11 ok good so now this last example in which uh, the idea is to plot on a chart uh, a signal that uh, evolves over time and for that we are reading the signal uh, it's an analog signal uh, means it's a signal that varies from 0 to 5 and can take many values and in particular the information is coming through the pin A0 so that's why we read the analog pin A0 here and we plot it using this instruction here and then uh, we just simply wait 50 milliseconds so the signal every, every we sample the signal every 50 milliseconds and we execute this thi this code here in the loop of the Arduino code so let me run this example okay uh, so uh, in order to plot the signals here uh, we have to access to the code tab as well and in the signal monitor we have here this button which is called toggle uh, graph that will show the uh, graph, that, the signal graph that I want to plot so in order to uh, modify the signal you can see here that in, in this uh, circuit that I have implemented here I have a potentiometer that one of the pins is connected to pin A0 so if I rotate the wiper here the signal value will change and that will be read by the Arduino accordingly so let me start the simulation and, and in this case let me put uh, here and modify the value of the wiper as you can see in real time we can see the values we measured depending on the position so this is the maximum this is 5 volts and this is 0 volts and any value in between it's read as a number between 0 and 1223 but here plotted as a signal that varies over time ok so in this presentation I have introduced how to use the serial port instructions in Fatalino thank you very much